grade 7 students. Our topic for today is about oceans and seas, waves, tides, and currents. Okay? Now, the objective of this uh, lesson is you'll be able to know what waves, currents, and tides are. And obviously, you need to know the difference between seas and ocean. Although, Now, let's talk about first waves. What are waves? According to the definition from your book, waves is the rising and falling movement of water on its surface. Agar apne beach mein gaya or apne deka uh, wo pani hai ne, upar se niche rise karti hai and then niche ja rahi hai falling karti hai. So waves. Yeah, I don't need to elaborate it because you know already very well. Now, let's go for the tides. What are tides? Tides, the surge and retreat of water on the edge of the beach. Okay, tides, kabhi kabhi, they, they, they are calling it high tide and low tide, okay? Agar wo wala ka, I will go elaborately in that one because this is uh, according, uh, it's, it has a connection in the position of the moon and the gravity, okay? I will explain it later. But this time you need also to know what tides is. The surge and retreat. Surge karti hai, matlab, bohot saada saada. When, if, uh, if you have gone somewhere in the sea view, okay, aap log ka nasar aare, uh, gila. Zameen gila hai, but pani nahi hai. But there are times at night, especially at night, that wo pani diwar tak chalti hai. And you call it high tide. Uske baad, it will retreat. It will surge. When you said surge, agar ye pohsti hai, ta diwar tak. उसके बाद रेटीट करती है बेस में आ रही है तो उस उस समीन में जब आपने गीला देखा ठीक है वो वाला का इट इस टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वेव्स ठीक है ये वाला का द टाइड्स इस कनेक्टेड विद द मून ओके नाउ करंट्स करंट्स का इस द स्टेडी फ्लो ऑफ वाटर इन अ डेफिनेट डायरेक्शन नाउ लेट्स टेक लुक व्हेन यू आर Kaha se flow, let's talk about the this rice canal, this river, Amara Pasidar. Mirwa, Mirwa deko. Tikka, Mirwa ka aap log taraf me deka sakar ki taraf jati hai, or wo wala ka kot diji, uh, kot diji jati hai, ne? Most, since I came here in Pakistan, because it's the kata, either currents is the steady flow of water in a definite direction. Sakkar se kharpo se a rhi hai ne? Aise wagara. Karachi tak. Karachi hai se ponsi ponsi hai se. But kabhi bhi ulta nahi hai. Kharpo se sakkar nahi hai. Karans ka kabhi bhi nahi hai gai. Kharpo se sakkar. Always in a definite direction. Kharpo se a rhi hai paani or Sorry. Sakkar se paani a rhi hai. Or kharpo tak Karachi. Karachi se ponjai di. Yeah. So that is the meaning of Karans. Now. In one of the objectives, we talk about oceans and seas. What is the difference between an ocean? Okay? Oceans ka are bodies of large water separating the continents. And 70% of the earth is covered with water. So, ocean ka. Ocean ka wo sab pani bada bada hai. Okay? Or continent separate karti hai. You know, do you know what is continent? How many continents? You should know. Okay? How many continents? Tell me. Okay, that's good. Now, sea is the part of the ocean that meets the land. Wo wala samin sam samandar hai. Us samin ki pas touch karti hai. Wo sea kehlati hai. Ocean kabi bhi nahi samin ko touch nahi karti hai. Ocean beach mein hai. They are large bodies of water. So, but the one that are touching the Land, those are called ocean. Clear? Okay. Just look at this one. I told you already. I will explain regarding the the low tide and the high tide. Look at the position of the moon. Agar aap dekho, ye earth hai, ye agar blue color ke nasar hai, ye high tide. It's bulky, hai, ne? Bulky nasar. What now? 
what are the causes of the high tide? Have you heard of centrifugal force in your uh, physics? Yes. Centrifugal force, if you're going to rotate ball, you're going to throw it. When you throw it, it's always go straight. Okay? So, the same thing, the effect of centrifugal force on the ocean, a result of Earth orbiting around the center of gravity between it and the moon. Here's the Earth rotating on its axis every 24 hours. We'll now draw the Earth as a diagram with its surrounding layer of ocean. And to the right is the silvery moon. Everything is attracted to everything else in the universe with the force of gravity. So the moon is attracted to the Earth. And the Earth is equally attracted to the moon. Notice that the two force arrows are the same length, showing the gravitational attractions are of equal strength. But we're only interested in the force on the Earth here. The moon pulls on the ocean closest to it and makes it bulge outwards. When the Earth rotates, the sea level is higher at this point in its rotation, causing a high tide. and a low tide where the oceans don't bulge. So you'd expect one high tide each day. But here it gets interesting because there are two high tides a day. How come? This is because the strength of gravity is greater when objects are closer. We'll call the location of the ocean on the near side of the moon, point A, at the center of the Earth, point B, and at the far side ocean, point C. The strength of the Moon's gravity is strongest at A because it's closest to the Moon. So the part of the ocean that bulges towards the Moon most is at A. But the Moon's gravity also pulls on the Earth, moving it towards the Moon as well. This has two effects. First, it makes another bulge at sea. Second, it fills in the bulge at A, but not completely, because A has moved further towards the moon than B. Lastly, the far side ocean at C is also attracted to the moon, but it moves least because the moon's gravitational pull here is at its weakest, being farthest from the moon. This leaves a partial bulge at C, though not as big as the one at A. Now we can see why, when the Earth rotates through 24 hours, it goes through two high tides and two low tides. There's another surprise. By the time the Earth has rotated once and arrived back at its original position, the Moon has moved on a bit because it's orbiting the Earth at the same time. That means that the Earth has to catch up with the Moon, so the next day's high tide is about 50 minutes later. The moon rises and sets about 50 minutes later too, because the Earth has to catch up with its orbiting moon. You can even test this by timing the moon rise or moon set from one day to the next. One nation, yeah.